Hi guys, time for today's visit to the complete book of paper aeroplanes by David Woodruff that cost me £1.25 at Cancer Research UK charity shop. Now, slight change today. What I usually show you is the picture on the right, instructions on the left and the theory is you rip the page out, fold it up, follow in the instructions. But if you rip the page out, then you take away the instructions for the next page. So you either work from the back, forwards, or you photocopy it, or you do what I normally do, which is use a piece of scrap paper and follow the instructions. But today, I've actually wasted some ink. I've actually photocopied these because I thought there's just no point in trying to measure all that up and repeat it. So I photocopied it, printed it, and much to my horror, the first time I printed it, it actually ended up smaller than the original. So not only have I wasted ink, but I've done it twice. So now I've got some slightly bigger ones. Ah, yeah, okay. Well, my little printer is flashing at me saying out of ink anyway, but it managed to get this bit out. I'll cut it out and see if it works. Only thing is, having made it bigger, then the balance is going to be off. Sticky stuff on here. That's no good. I'll clean that off later. That's because I've been cutting duct tape with it. That's one of those types of tape that tends to leave a bit of sticky on your scissors. In fact, if you're good at duct tape, you don't use scissors at all, you just rip it. Which sort of points out that I'm not very good with duct tape and I used scissors. I think the only way we'll be able to find out if this flies is possibly drop it down the stairs. Although at the moment it's stopped raining so we might be able to throw it outside. But it's going to be pretty small. So whether we can actually see it and film it. Right, so they are printed side down and fold along the edge. Okay, that's one fold. Second fold, and then fold from the end six times. First one on the line. I did actually make some of these from um, styrofoam. If I remember, I'll put a link in the video description. One, two, three. Four. Five. Six. Well, that looks to me like I've got another fold. Oh, I see, because I folded it. Yeah, let's get those folds a bit bigger. Okay. 
How are you supposed to fold it when the line is on the side you can't see? Put a paper clip on it. Hmm, that way. Flick it like that. Okay, well. So say it's not raining at the moment, so we will just go and throw that in the garden. Right, not quite sure how we're going to do this. I might have to go and get the hat camera. Flick it that way. That didn't look very effective. Try that again. Ah, it started spinning at the bottom, but I missed it with the camera. Yeah, I'll have to get the hat camera. All right, I've folded the other two, so we've got three of them now. And I'll use the hat camera to try and film it. I expect this is another one of those things you can throw from the top of a tall building. How about if I threw them up high? Yeah, they're just about starting to spin when they're getting to the ground. That one worked. Yeah, well, they sort of work, I think. Tall building, or a bridge, or something like that, and then throw them, and they'll pick up speed, flatten out, and helicopter down.
just started picking up sp speed and spinning. Mm. Yeah, that one worked. giving them a little bit of a flick round as I'm releasing them but you can't see it I'm doing that up there while we're looking down there Yep, that'll do. Definitely outdoors off a tall building or a bridge. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.